Hey everybody, this podcast is proudly sponsored by CardsReviewRelease.com. CardsReviewRelease.com has been supporting the game since Opus 1. Use promo code CHOCOBROS to save 10% off your next order. Alright, hello, hello, and welcome to an episode of Choco Brews, where we build a deck uh, either requested by the community or by some deep recess of our brain that needs to be itched, as I say. Uh, I'm joined today by Cody. Yo, yo, hello. Uh, and we are going to fight tooth and nail over our card choices for the deck today uh <laughs> so oh, <yeah. laughs> we're, we're gonna we're gonna build something interesting or hopefully interesting uh based on my post i put in the north american group recently uh asking about forgotten archetypes or underrepresented element combinations which of course we kind of know what they are i think if i asked you that question just like randomly you would probably give me the exact same answers we got from the post but there were there were some insights to like specific ideas for for those element combinations that we can go over so uh first off i'm just going to list off all of our options okay. uh some are better than others <laughs> <laughs> um but before we begin we are on ff decks so step one is private all right so all right now let's go over what we're actually going to build <laughs> uh so first option is wind lightning okay that's probably one of the more tame options. That's kind of... There's a lot of different ways you can do with that. But, I mean, I, I've seen some successful Wind Lightning builds in the past two opuses. Uh, Fire Wind, which is probably, in, in the back of my brain, was the number one option I expected us to go for. Uh, but we'll, we'll see based on the rest of them. Uh, mm -hmm. Arch Fiends, a personal favorite of mine. <laughs> uh, light and Dark... So, some kind of deck using light cards and dark cards. Uh, maybe that, we'll, like I'm, with Tilika? <laughs> I'm assuming that would either be Tilika, maybe Imperio, uh, to go find like dark and light oh, cards. The, the so Opus 8. There's, guy, yeah. there's a couple ideas I have for that, actually, to like make it legitimate. Um, because okay. it just says cards, it does not say characters. So, you could do some stuff with summons. But anyway, uh, Ice Lightning. Uh, that one has a lot of different directions, but I think the one that was requested uh, was specifically FF8. Um, I feel but, like that deck's actually had quite a bit of success. Right, right. And this is kind of intended to be like a not yeah. your typical go to a tournament and expect to see this kind of deck. <laughs> or at least not at the right. top tables. Um, Knights uh, and the person spe Ooh. specified, <laughs> uh, they like fire, water, lightning. So tricolor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew that'd be your reaction. Uh, and then the last one was Water Earth. Now, I think that we... Oh, pen click. Uh, I think we're not going to do Water Earth because A, there's way too many directions to go, and B, this channel has done so much with Water Earth monsters, Water Earth like summons, and Fusoya that I don't think we should make another Water Earth piece of content. <laughs> so... Uh, if yeah, you right. want good Water Earth decks, go look at Sam's tournament history and change some cards to put new good stuff in. That's that's my advice. Yeah. <laughs> or go check out like, or message John Schreiner on Facebook. He's always oh yeah, John Schreiner's well. got it. He's always got a good Earth Water build. Um, and I feel like I would mostly just copy stuff that they've used in the past. If we exactly. Were another video on it. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna cross that off on my little list here. Um, other things I'm going to assume, Ice Lightning, while it is a cool element combination, like you said, it has seen some success recently, I believe. Uh, the builds are kind of, I'm not going to say they build themselves, but like an FF8 deck, like there's probably, what, 30 cards decided just by picking that archetype, at least. Something close to it. So, um, unless... Like the newer Noah, really. Yeah, exactly. And then like... Brought that into the light. Yeah, um, I mean, I guess your Squall choice might be interesting. <laughs> but like Laguna, you're probably having the one that searches. Uh, so I feel like that one's not as interesting. Um, yeah, you're just playing a lot of the newer cards. Really. Yeah, right. So I'm going to cross that one off. Mm -hmm. So Wind Lightning. Uh, how do you feel about Wind Lightning? I think the next one that has to get eliminated, uh, which may break some hearts, has got to be Archfiends. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, I could just uh, <laughs> go over to my maid decks and just show my Archfiend skills. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what I'm talking about with uh, Archfiend, so... Yeah, there's there's some cool stuff you can do with Maga Sisters with that deck, because uh, or Maga Sisters and Edge, if you build like a mostly wind deck, because um, Maga Sisters and all of the Archfiends are all uh, Final Fantasy IV, so Edge can plus four them at 
like summon speed, mm -hmm. uh, which gets some cool stuff. Like you can do uh, Scarbiga Leon specials, and like when he comes back with his ability on the stack, you flash an edge plus four him to do an extra two k to whatever he entered to deal damage to. So cute stuff like that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll cross that one off. All right, so that leaves us with Wind Lightning, Fire Wind, Knights. Uh, the request was Fire Water Lightning. Maybe we could take some liberties with that. Uh, but I think if we take liberties, right, it's going to turn into a deck that's already been created, right? Yeah, we, we can't we can't change it up too much. So it's, uh, it's per request. So try try color knights. <laughs> uh -huh. Light and dark is the other one that. Oh, here let, let's just do a search real quick. Oh, sorry, my mouse has been double clicking recently. Very good. Let's filter by these real quick, just to go over kind of what we might do, but I don't think we're going to do this. This for light and dark? Yeah, so we have the guy that searches. Actually, let's pull him up real quick. So we have Imperio, right? So this guy, when he enters, he searches for a light forward. And then when he put from the field to the break zone, you can search for a dark forward. So obviously his exit is a lot easier to do. You don't have to pay four. Uh, and you don't have to have, like, a one ICP. Like, it's one thing to be able to pitch an ice card and, like, search. But, like, you specifically have to pay a singular ice after you play him. So it actually requires a lot more investment into ice, which may or may not be where you want to be. I think, um, we, I think this has been eliminated just by looking at this. <laughs> yeah. The only thing I can think of is uh, getting, like, Terra uh, to search for summons. Um, it says cost five or less, so you can't search for the light and dark summons. But uh, make some kind of summons build with that. And then when she goes away... Um, you could search for something like, um, where is he? Or, or, I'm sorry, you could do, like, Cam to search for, like, uh, Ultima, and then do, like, some crazy, like, Hoshmal deck. Where's Ultima? Where you, like, turn everything into light or dark, and they don't die. But, yeah, it's it's going to be jank. Uh, yeah, that sounds, that sounds like a deck I would not <laughs> want to play. Uh, so what does that leave us with? So that leaves or, us with... Our Fire Wind. Fire Wind. Wind Lightning. Wind Lightning and Knights. Tricolor Knights. All right, you choose the next one to eliminate. Go. <laughs> oh, man. So this is tough. That's Tricolor Knights without Earth, by the way. Yeah, without Earth. It's Fire, Water, Lightning. So, I mean, if we want to challenge ourselves, we could go for that. Uh, right, you fire, you choose the... <laughs> fire, Wind. One. Is there a way you could see building it without it just being a Warrior of Light deck or a Yuri Chalinka deck? Because Warrior of Lights would be, uh, I would not do that. Like Phoenix with Arc and all the like splash colors and getting them back with various like whatever engine pieces. But mainly, it's a Phoenix deck with just like Warrior of Light cards, and then it's just super aggressive. But you could also do it with like the seven package with like the backup Aerith and the seven Haste Chocobo, and you could do like a Chocobo list of it too. But I feel like that's probably not and as interesting. Like it's also like unblockable, quote unquote. Um, uh, oh yeah, true, unblockable. And then there's also like maybe we could do like a pingy deck with like Ustola or like Balthier. Ooh, there's some good there's some good combinations and, in there too. Actually, if you notice a trend with these last two color combinations, so Wind Lightning and Fire Wind, they both often rely on damage combos. <laughs> Whether it be doing like a ping of damage and then uh, finishing it off with like something like Orlando or like fire wind stacking damage. All right, I could see an interesting. We could go with like a damage build of fire wind. Uh, wind lightning. Uh, what direction would you go with wind lightning? If I asked you to like just on the spot build a deck, I would probably go with um, somewhere near the hobby Japan list that they played back in Opus Four. Um, oh, with like the guys. the chocobo searcher. No, no, no. With um, what was it? Uh. It's with Legend Vaughn from Opus Two. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. This um, is this is what I would imagine. Oh no! So this package? No, that was the backup deck you guys had for the Crystal Cup, or for the <laughs> yeah for the Petit deck. Cup. Yeah, so there's Arisha finds Izana, Izana finds Fat Chocobo, Fat Chocobo finds any of your Chocobos. So it was just mm -hmm. like this long tutor chain that was really powerful. Yeah, I remember that. Um, but no, it was like. Vaughn to bounce your like your black mages and stuff and then like cat oh that deck yeah 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 that deck was sick the only um, problem with that deck ready 
Where's my wind, Black Mage? <laughs> there's there's just you... no way to make wind CP without... Because what you want to be able to do is... Oh, add... you, play archer. you play archers that ping. Oh, it didn't have Lulu in it? No, no. Oh, I'm no. thinking of the Lulu deck. So it had Lulu, and then it had uh, all, like, Black Mages. Um, so you would just, like, do the, the one that, like, negs things based on... Um, oh, that um... sounds like, like Dan's Dan Wynn's deck. Almost. Might be, yeah. Uh, yeah, this guy. This card's sick. So fun to play with. And then with the bot, no, with Vine, <laughs> you bounce it and stuff. I think we're talking, thinking about like four different decks at the same time. <laughs> Maybe. All right, we're not doing Wind Lightning, I don't think. <laughs> All right, no Wind Lightning. All right. I, I'd probably go Final Fantasy VII for Wind Lightning uh, with like Rufus and that package plus the Yuffie and Godo. Yeah. Uh, that was yeah. a pretty powerful deck last set. Uh, that kind of stole lots of games because it was super aggressive and you just didn't respect the two drop Yuffie and then she'd be like a 10k and like really hard to deal with hmm. interesting all right Zach what's what's our final elimination all right so you like knights and I have a lot of fire wind random bs in my head so I think you're gonna choose which one we go all right let's do the fire wind fire wind all right yeah because knights, I would have to. Uh, God, either way, I have to play fire cards. This is awful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going fire wind. I have the I have the filters on. It's official. Mm -hmm. uh, now, how do you like to start building a deck? Do you think about a core strategy, or do you start looking at backups and seeing what you can do? I'll show you what I've been doing recently. While you think about your answer, let's see. When I start building a deck, I put in three genesis. <laughs> um, so I've been doing now. this. Uh, looking for backups that search backups because that's been a very powerful trend that people have kind of fallen into. Um, so things like we could go Norse Stalin for Meath. Pretty obvious one's Norse Stalin. Um, right, and then you can get Meath because it searches, right? Yeah, I mean, it searches. Uh, no, I'm saying searches. Norse Stalin that's searches Meath. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it gets your both your elements on turn one if you draw the Norse Stalin. I feel like if we're playing Norse Stalin, we're like not playing Yuri Chalinka is pretty much a crime. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that what we're doing? We're going Yuri Chalinka? Well, because I mean, I feel like we almost have to. The package is just really good, and then you also get um, who's the fire guy that adds them back from the break zone. Yeah, so are we playing that card? Uh, Latov, or Latov. Mm -hmm. This guy. Ooh, um, it costs five? Yeah, it costs five. But it brings them back to the field. So it's pretty powerful. Ooh. Oh, okay. That's not... That's pretty bad, but... We'll put, one, <laughs> put, put them in there. Let's... All right, we'll put them as we a can, one for now. We can eliminate uh, them later. Uh, I just put one of each of the backups in. So what backups are we interested in? Um, are, are We're probably not interested in Charlotta. No, never. I don't know about never. Let's let's not it's get like, crazy, but it's like the best card that. Uh, three Illyria because EX burst. Um, probably that's probably fine. Um, and then Alhanalem at least one, Waltrill at least one. I feel like we're most of the time searching Meath, but like if we don't, then we have Waltrill. Yeah, I think we need more fire backups. So what other fire backups can we find in here? All right, so there are no other FFCC ones. Mm -hmm. uh now here's here's your disappointment let's look through the fire backups <laughs> oh there's plenty right, here we go uh, what what other cards all right so are we going right for the normal instant ad now uh what's the name of the card i'll know it when i see the art hey yotsuyu are we interested in her um if we're going on blockable um i, I mean just even as a general finisher right yeah, something like that. I really, it depends on how much, like if we're doing any more like ping stuff, we might want something like Firewise that pings from the back row, um, which there's quite a lot of options. Um, you have like Irvine. The new one uh, or the old one? The old one. Oh, God, not that new one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so the one that deals six? Yeah, and then you have like, I mean, you have Black Waltz. I don't know which Black Waltz exactly it is. I just know there's one black waltz. There it is right there. Yeah. 
card's not too terrible, and there's also the VV right next to it, uh, which also does some ping damage. No, we... but if we're playing Firewind, we're probably playing Phoenix, right? So we're probably playing one VV, I would assume, like the forward VV. Yeah, I'm fine with forward VV over back of VV. Yeah, we that's... probably we might want to let's throw some forwards in, and then we'll come back to the backups. All right, so we're just gonna put one of these in, and so you're each link. Uh... I'm also yeah, you can probably do that too. Thank you. On um... yeah, there you go. The next thing I would consider would be Yustola. Oh, yeah, and that card. All right, are we going real basic bitch mode with uh, <laughs> all of these two? <laughs> with, the, with the good summons, yes. <laughs> Is that just how we, we're trying to make this good, not just Mimi, right? <laughs> and then Yustola. All right, so yeah, Yustola, uh, how many? At least two for now. At least two, okay. Yeah, that's a safe two for now. Kind of where I'm at, too. Okay. Um... Uh, are we playing Aerith? Got a lot of Aeriths. Are we playing the good Aerith with Phoenix? <laughs> mm, it's probably fine. Put one for now? Yeah. Alright, let's do the old... Whoops, that's the wrong one. Uh, yeah, sorry, my mouse is double-clicking. This is <laughs> making putting a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're going to do three CP forwards in these elements and see how many we'd be interested in. Stop me when you see one. <laughs> I mean, um, Haste Chocobo is not horrible, but we're not exactly bringing that back if we pitch it. Oh, Zidane? Oh, found one. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, let's continue. Oh, we get real How spicy. How many jobs do we currently have? Uh, Probably all of them. Black Mage, Thief, Sign of the Seventh Dawn, Girl, Ancient. Lay crystal user. Okay, that's a good consideration. We'll put one. I like Ranger, but not with Phoenix. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that card, to be completely honest. I do love this card, but not, I think, where we're going with this deck. <laughs> yeah, big shout out to Chris Matiski. Oh, seriously, though, yeah. Playing that this weekend. That deck was sick. Um. I like a dope, but that's kind of corny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I know one. We're almost there. Uh oh. Do, 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 do. Oh, no. You'll, you'll actually accept this one. Eh, yeah, it's probably fine. I like her because, uh, especially with, like, as, as a combat trick, like, you could be in combat block with something, then bring her back, and she pumps everybody. Let's see. We're currently at 34 out of 50. All right, there's going to be some cuts. I mean, I've got oh, a Bart's yeah. in here. I've got, yeah, I've got some stuff. <laughs> All right. Well, we don't want to just die to Zolera, so we might want to add some other. Yeah, yeah, for sure. dp elements. <laughs> yeah, we're probably not playing Bart's. Currently at all three CPs in here. <clears throat> well, it's just because we filtered it like that, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, let's find. Are there any ones and twos we might be interested in? So... Uh... Cause I don't think we're trying to. Are we trying to be like super aggro, like where we want Tifa? I don't think so, right? No, it's kind of a not. mid rangey deck with the Alblos Phoenix. Yeah, this is definitely a build backups. <laughs> Depending on how much <laughs> <laughs> we Paul. could consider playing Shara, um, but I'm not a big fan of that card to be. It, it is pretty nice against, like, Pains and Zidane's, but, like, you've already taken damage from them, likely, if you're playing her, so. I guess I don't have to be dull. Never mind. I'm completely forgetting what this card does. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, we'll no, just, I like that card. I'll put one in we'll for keep now. That, keep that in the back of the head. It's not horrible with Phoenix, either. Like, at, at 11k something? No, and it's fine with Diabolos, too. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah. So you untap. Oh, yeah, that, that'd be pretty good. You oh, go, yeah, like... No, like for five, you just go Diablo, Shrink, Untap, and then you get to play Shara for one, then you play Yuri for two and pitching a card, holding up Yuri activation. Seems seems decent. Are just we interested untap. in any sort of Warrior of Light package? No. That's like the that's too fair. <laughs> I do like this guy as a one-of with Phoenix, though. Pumping your team for two out of nowhere. Yeah, him and Furion, I kind of like. Um, you can probably just throw one of each in for now. 
And then obviously we can make cuts later on. Um... <laughs> Luso. Luso Yuri? Luso Yuri? That's a trap. We could probably put one in. I mean, we could put a Luso, right? Put in like Riotan, uh, which is another two, like fat guy for just two CP that we're never going to be able to play from our hand, except we could Phoenix it back with four CP Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going Golbez, and then you went, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. No. I mean, we could. I think, maybe, I think a Luso is probably fine, though. At least one. All right, well, that puts us at 37. Out of oh, wait, now that we have Luso. Actually, let's do four CP forwards real quick. Oh, yeah. So we were trying to do a damage deck, but now it's turning into just a Phoenix good stuff deck. <laughs> well, I still got plenty of damage. You have VV Warrior. Like I can see Barbarisha if we're going with like Shara. Shara, yeah, VV, cool. stuff like that. Yeah, Barbarisha is definitely good. Say two of those for of now. Damage. Yep. Um... Ooh, I do like this card. not too terrible he does ping which is good he does he ping monsters. he can break monsters if they have like a layak or something they're hiding behind um and we can also put selfie as another fire backup uh which would help the surges him i'm fine with putting one in for now let's see hmm. i already have the good zidane so that one he won't <laughs> right uh duncan pings but meh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I, we're not interested in maga sisters right like it's good no. but we're not trying to do any shenanigans with the break zone yeah i'm not even a big fan of that card in like wind water at all yeah i'm not a big fan of wind water <laughs> but in mono wind it's pretty good um okay so now yeah. we can go to i think it's this card Oh, that's a typo card. Never mind. I lied. What's the card that gets back uh, Luso? FFTA2. There's a card that gets back Luso? I am not sure. I think there's a card. Am I just totally crazy here? You might be. I would not play a card to get back Luso. <laughs> that's a bad card. <laughs> I swear there was a card that when it enters the field, you get an FFCC uh, forward from your break zone. <clears throat> so it's like a way to get back Adele and stuff like that. What job, or what is Luso? What game is he from? He's FFTA2. You're looking for FFCC? Are you no, talking I'm... about Latov or whatever? No. I thought there was a, I thought there was a wind backup that got back... Uh, uh, FFTA2 characters, but I think I'm just wrong. <laughs> I'm, I am not sure. Like, uh, I think it was one of these, but I, I guess I'm thinking of Rem that gets back a typo card. Interesting. Oh, man, people are going to be mad we didn't build cadets. <laughs> oh, geez, that's fine. They can be, that's okay. It already exists. There's a list from yeah, my LQ, uh, from the Jacksonville LQ, that uh, only lost to me through the whole tournament, so go check that out. <laughs> that exactly right. Yeah, we're going to need some more backups. All right, so we need fire backups, right? Yeah, just fire cards, yeah. We need more fire cards, period, I think. Um, are you interested in the searcher for Zell? If we add a second Zell? It's probably fine. It's an EX burst, too, not, which is nice. We're not playing any backups that, like, are need-to-haves down, so the more EX bursts are good. Um, like, none of these backups are, like, key to have down. It's right, just it's just for colors and fixing and stuff. Yeah, it's not like anything. I'm not even sure Latov counts as a backup. I think he's more of like a summon slot. Because like we're only playing him if we're getting like good value out of it. Yeah, funny. Alright, so are we playing any like, lower cost summons, you think? So if we look at the uh That's a good as summons for fire. So things I would be interested in. Uh Ifrita possibly. Uh, let's see. The 4 like CP removal cards. Bahamut. I like that card a lot. Uh, we could get... It's good for Veritas, especially in this deck where we do not want to be losing our backups. I mean, most of our people are pretty expendable, but... 
Uh, I could see maybe Belias, but not for what I'm going for at the moment in my head. No, you, we're not really going to. Probably have three of these. Yeah, Bahamut's just a good generic summon. I, I think Yfrida's okay, um, but like, it's not better than Like one or two? Uh, the reason I ask is because we could play Setuna in the backup line. Uh, yeah, we could. You can only get Bahamut and Afrida, though. Yeah. That makes Phoenix deal, what, 9k? Uh, yeah, Phoenix would deal 9, these deal 9 and 8, respectively. I think we need more 2-drop backups. Apparently or, well, North Stalin's a 2-drop, right? No. Yes, he is. No. He searches. <laughs> He does the same thing as all of these. But we want actual two. Drops. It's like more. It's like Meath is a four CP backup, right? Because if you pitch a card for it, it's like you paid two extra to go find a card. Yeah, we need more two drops. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let, let's go for. I'll, I'll filter twos and fours, and the only fours we'll consider are ones that get stuff back. Oh wait, I need yeah, backups too. It's also a lesson on how to rapidly filter things. <laughs> uh, we could do. Uh, we don't need more wins, but. We could do the whole Fran combo thing that Mono Wind decks are doing. Uh, let's see here. Whew. I do like Shadow. We can probably add... Um, I don't want to go too deep in like the backup removal. What about think, what about Black Mage? That's probably fine. I would... At least play one of that. We can get back Ifrida in case they play a monster we weren't expecting. We can get back Phoenixes. Yeah, just get back Phoenix. We can probably only play two Meath, right? Because we can search it with Norse Stalin, and we don't want, like, that many. Yeah. Yeah, two is fine. Maybe even one. Um, yeah, actually, that's probably fair. Like, if we search it, that's the only time we really want it. Like, I, I would definitely rather have Alhanalim down than Meath. And if we're playing Black Mage, we can at least have our higher chance of a fire backup. I'm just adding up numbers. Um, do we have room for Mog 11? <laughs> probably not. <laughs> this one? No, probably not. Especially if we don't have a way to abuse it, like getting copies of it back unless we play a Sura. I would love to play a Sura, <laughs> but we probably shouldn't. Save. Oh, Mion. We could play Mion. We don't have that many good targets, though, outside of Zidane. I mean, we have Zidane. We could uh, do Vivi. Uh, Vivi's fun with it. Uh, Barbaricia, if we want to do that twice. Zell. But those are more like late game options rather than early game. Ooh, Echo's good. Echo's not bad. And that's also basically a 2 CP backup. It draws a card. And more EX burst. All right, we'll, we'll add an Echo. Uh, I think we need, what, one more, at least one more lower CP fire card? Or wind, either way. Well, because North Stalin will find Meath uh, if we have North Stalin. So this is also kind of like a turn one fire card. Then we have Meath and Black Mage themselves. Uh, Ahanalim and Walter will just targets. Otherwise, like, we don't we don't need these cards, but they're nice to have. Unless we want to have a second Ahanalim. Uh, Illyria are there, is there just for the experts. Latav is in case we ever can actually play it, but we're often not interested early. Uh, Echo is a good experts, plus it's a pseudo 2CP backup. Uh, occasionally, it helps fix draws. Uh, we have our searchers. The, the only 3CP cards we're playing are searchers, or 3CP backups, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, so those are fine. So yeah, we, we probably want a breakable fire backup. I say because we only have, at the moment, there's only what one breakable backup in this backup line. Uh, Black Mage, Waltrill. Oh, yeah. Waltrill, yeah, Forget yeah, about Waltrill. Um, which is fine because none of these, like we said, none of these are actual like. Yeah, none of them need to have like Alhanalem is like probably the closest to like what we really want, but we don't even like totally need it. I would say maybe two Alhanalim. Yeah, that's fine. Because we don't want to see a damage. That would be, like, heartbreaking. But <laughs> <laughs> like, because if we open with, like, Black Mage or a Selfie or something, we probably Norse Stalin for Alhanalim. But if we have no fire backups, we probably Norse Stalin for Meath. Mm -hmm. So we need one more backup. You want to be on 17 backups with this deck? 
I'm gonna be on 17 backups with every deck. <laughs> I mean, this is sort of aggressive, right? Aggressive damage. Well, I guess it's a little slower. Yeah. And we're gonna fix yeah. these forwards, too. Yeah, we're definitely at a, at a slow pace right now. Uh, I wonder if we're gonna get, like, flamed for not putting in copies of uh, Mion. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Just play, like, the uh, one of Maria. Nah, there's a lot of... I think we need to break a little back up. Probably Archer. You think? Or Ninja. Yeah. Well, our, let's assume this deck is post-ban of Riku. Yeah, Archer. <laughs> <laughs> Still Archer? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Nah, I like to play Ninja, though, because sometimes people forget that Ninja is the same thing as Archer, but they know what Archer does. Oh. Uh, that sounds like some bad testing. <laughs> um... You gotta get all the edges where you can, man. I don't think we need <laughs> two selfie for two Zell. It's probably fair. That's re really low on fire backups, though. Yeah. Um... Although, to be fair, I guess one, two, three, four, five. We only have seven forwards that are fire, but we have a ton of fire summons. Maybe we do the one of Katuna? That sounds awful, though. As a one of, it sounds bad. I like two. Yeah, that's another unbreakable. We need breakable backups. Um, like me personally building this, I would probably cut... I'd cut the ninja. Uh, I'd cut the... Fire cards. Probably the Latav. And I'd put in two copies of Satuna. Well, we could just cut the Latav and play two of it. Oh, right, because we need... Okay, that's fair. I like that a lot better. Like, I mean, we have no way of getting... Uh, Yuri back. I mean, all the wind decks don't either. Yeah. <laughs> and they, they find it just fine. Wind water that's doesn't. When they, that's when they lose. <laughs> yeah, right. Because uh, now we have uh, these on demand. Mm -hmm. At least more on demand, anyway. Let's see. And then Phoenix will do more. I really like having Phoenix deal nine as well, yeah. How much more room do we have? Are we. We're at 50. At 50. <laughs> so let's uh are we happy with the summon line for now yeah i think it's fine all Phoenix right is the best fire summon diabolus is the best wind summon outside of valifor maybe um and then these are kind of our vermilion bird package yeah but bahamut's just a good card i don't i'm not a big fan of ifrida um but... i think she's a nice tech card to have especially if we're playing black mage yeah she's just a <laughs> and like what and if they play a bunch of little guys, right? Like we can just like black mage back a Frida, cast a Frida and just like wipe their board for four K. So that'll do four K with K Tuna, right? Yeah. It's not the worst. And like if we go if we couple the like imagine if we were playing Thena with a Frida. Mm -hmm. We're not even playing Thena. Yeah. That card needs to be in this list. <laughs> So, so we could I, we could even go in a direction where it's like uh, board wipe central with Afrida and uh, Fina. Yeah, I'm looking at some fire and wind cards now. Obviously, they can't see that. Um, but yeah, Fina definitely has to be in this deck. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so we got a bunch of Fina. I think we probably take out a couple of the cute cards like Luso. Yeah, Luso should go. All right, Luso's, Luso's gone. Yeah, he is a um, trap. Uh, I like the rest of these. Let's see here. I'd almost say two Afrida, two Bahamut. Just, cause, because, just because well, of that Afrida Fina combo. That's a pretty expensive combo. Be. Yeah, because it's not as good as like Valfor Fina because you don't untap with the Valfor. But... <laughs> yeah, this one's not free. <laughs> <laughs> um. But that's what happens when we're playing fire cards. Uh, we could probably do that. And with Vermilion, it like it ends up being nine k board wipe, which is pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Like so, there is like a slight edge we get out of having the Afrida dealing more. Obviously, it requires some setup, but obviously we got to think about the meta as well. Um... Do we though? <laughs> so all these one ofs, how do we feel? I like one VV. I think that's pretty just standard with phoenix uh <laughs> in earth wind i would say yes um but in an actual like fire deck no 
Wait, a fire deck doesn't want VV, but Earthwind does? No, no, no. One. One copy. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's all I'm saying. That one copy. That's like an, that's like an Earthwind one copy. And fire, you can have three if you want. Oh, you're saying we could add more. Mm-hmm. Um, Would you add a second one over having a Therian? Uh, hmm. He's an EX burst down, though. <laughs> <laughs> and he's another Phoenix target. Um... I guess so, yeah, if you have the VV for some reason already and you need to Phoenix something to kill it. <laughs> but then we have Shara. So we have three different targets to combo with Phoenix. Do we need all three? We have four, don't we? Oh, no, Warrior Light doesn't. It doesn't deal damage, just ends up winning you combat sometimes. Or like haste out of nowhere. That's like a 7k. Control four more forwards. a lot of forwards to have maybe he gets <laughs> cut yeah i can see that he's just really cute and i've been putting him in all my phoenix decks just because i like having that power boost but we already have lice mm -hmm. yeah we have lease lease lice whatever yeah I don't, I don't know how to actually pronounce it uh <laughs> lies I'm trying to think what are some other search forwards that are like higher costed for fire and wind That's a little expensive, but we'll see what we can find. Yes, Matt. <laughs> That's what we find with that filter. Uh, Nail is almost decent for this deck, but it's we're a little heavy on backups, I think, for him. Yeah, and summons. I yeah, I wish there was more forwards. Uh, Cloud is what I'm considering. Oh, sure. I could see a copy of Cloud. That makes a lot of sense. Cloud, Cloud's just a real good card. Um, and he's fire. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Right, what about Amaranth? No. <laughs> no i do love this card yeah i like that card but it's good if we had a way to get him back i'd say this guy i uh, like we could play that rem that gets back a typo card <laughs> um what else do we got nothing here and then mono ice just dulls everything and makes us discard our hand and we can't ever cast him. <laughs> yeah. Um, there we go. We'll play Oren. No. Ooh. Listen, man. <laughs> playing a K-Tuna for free is pretty good value. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Is that what he does? Yeah, he puts a fire back up for free. Yeah, I had a friend who was building, uh, he had Oron, like, with all the sages and Belias's and stuff, so, on the draw, turn one, actually, you could do it on, on going first as well, you would just oh. smack down Oren, give him haste, hits your opponent, deals damage, and you put a fire back up for free, but you, but you don't have a hand, that, or you have to, like, draw into it off the Belias, which sucks. Oh, it's only when he deals damage to your, okay, never mind, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. terrible. <laughs> all right. Uh, this one makes our backups unbreakable. No. <laughs> all right so uh, yeah the only one i would really i would might even consider more cloud like jet's cool but i don't really like jet without like chrysoya or outside of like mono fire maybe right and like wrong you said, like... archetype <laughs> yeah sorry cj if you're watching this um <laughs> <laughs> This card's pretty sweet. Not where we're at right now, but pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah, it's a cool card. Um, now we gotta make some more cuts. What are we at now? We're at 53. 53. Gotta make three cuts. Still have 17 back. Hmm. Honestly, I think we'd go down to 16 backups. Um, you just wouldn't like the cut. Well, you want to have your backups for Yuri. That's, that's... It's just because we have North Style in the search, so and then we we can find Walter Elliot if we need to dig deeper. So like, there's a decent amount of searching going on back here, but that's probably fine. Um, let's see here. It's funny because like most of the decks I play have no summons or like <laughs> very little amount of summons. I mean, we wow. could just take out Vermilion Bird and these summons right here, it gives us more forwards and stuff. 
I like those because you're going to have to deal with Veritas, and Bahama deals with Veritas on his own. Because um, if, if we're thinking about like the meta, there's going to be Veritas. Um, uh, do we need the full three Chilinka? Probably go to two Chilinka. Um, that's fine. What do we have? Two more cuts before we have a quote unquote deck here. Uh, <laughs> This deck is starting to look like a person just didn't have all their mono win cards. <laughs> so they just had to, had to reach into their fire. Like, <laughs> like, man, I don't know what other element I could add. Let's not add earth or water <laughs> or... <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I, just, I was just reading this card. I didn't know what it did. Yeah, it's... it's Boun <laughs> bounce your searcher, yeah. opponent. <laughs> yeah, not a, not a huge fan of that. Um, it is okay in sealed though. If that counts for anything. Oh, we could do like a damage combo deck with this card. Oof. On FF14 forwards. Yeah, I have like in... Rattata. Oh, we got six. That card is horrible. What? The... I mean, <laughs> you search for cards, so he costs four, right? And then he also deals damage on entry. Yeah. <laughs> sounds like a, sounds like a fire card. <laughs> what are we currently oh my at? god how many, how many fire cards do we have currently we're at 21 fire 28 wind that's probably fine um yeah yeah that's plenty this is this is fine uh let's see two more cuts i do like barbaricio i like shara with the diabolos i don't know how maybe Furion gets cut i think since we have shara we can cut Furion. but if we didn't plan if we weren't planning on playing shara we would uh, key, or we we would play Furion. Yeah, I almost want more Shara. Um, yeah, same actually. That doesn't help with our cut dilemma. <laughs> <laughs> I what mean, do do we want the full three Zidane? Yes. Every time. Or what about? I think the worst card is Zell. He's we, just not doing. We could cut two Zell in the selfie and then add another fire back up. What would that put us at? Uh, it'd put us like, right at 50 if we got I another like fire I feel like Furion and Shara are doing what Zell does for cheaper. Kind of, obviously, yeah. It's not quite the exact same, obviously. Let's see what searchers there are. Searcher fire back up. Um, Oops. We could play a Saz. <laughs> <laughs> it does find all of our fire summons. I do like that card, actually. But... I would rather play Vermilion Bird. We could just yeah. put a second Meath, right? Yeah, that's also fine. Or we could play, like, a generically good fire, like, backup. Not that there's many of those, but, like... Is there not a fire backup that, like, pings at all? Like, tap, tap something, ping. So, not that are particularly searchable, but we do have... Uh, for that option, one that pings, you mean like without breaking itself? Yeah, or yeah. like we have this card. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, Mutsuki. So you just pay one, dull, deal one. Or if that would be enough, though. So two CP, deal one K damage. As long as we don't play Samurai, I'm happy with whatever choice we make. <laughs> what about Lulu? What does that do? Uh, you break it back up, deal seven. Not terrible. No, I, I do like this card. Uh, obviously, it's not a very good turn one play, but yeah, it's still, still two CP. It's fine. You don't have to break it, right? It's like may put. Yeah, it says you you may put one back up if you do so. Deal seven. I think probably the meat is fine. Yeah, it's searchable. It keeps the name count down. Uh, now we have three breakable backups, so one, two, three, four, five, six unbreakables, and the odds of us actually playing the Echo are pretty low. Unless we find it early. <clears throat> as long as we keep space open for either Meath or Black Mage, and then Vermilion Bird, I think we're fine. Because we want to just have two Fire CP in the backup line. Yeah, it's starting to look like a really similar game plan to Mono Wind. Um, obviously, you mulligan for Nurse Dolan. Mm hmm. For sure. Doing pretty much wind things. I mean, 
Seems alright, though. You can take this to your locals. And... Like, personally, I would probably add a second Shara and cut the ninja. And just go to, like, 16 backups, since we have so many searchers. We can do that. That's fine. I do, I do like Shara with Barbarisha and Diabolos, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Diabolos... Uh, no, no, don't cut Diabolos. I was just thinking of combos with this. Oh, guy. definitely, definitely not. <laughs> I was, I was just thinking of yeah, other combos. Yeah, I highlighted it. I was getting scared. Oh, no. <laughs> Wrong. Go uh, down to one. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, actually, this is interesting. It's another one. It's it's more strict though. So like, I'd rather play the other card since it's also not searchable. Oh yeah, we can't be playing a cadet without building cadets. Well, plus it's a win CP to deal one, whereas the other card is just any CP to deal one. Yeah. And they're both equally unsearchable. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it looks pretty mediocre. Um, <laughs> for the element combination, it's kind of tough. There's a lot of angles we could have gone. Um, yeah, so I mean, we're we're giving ourselves the problem of, hey, we're playing fire. Now we're doing ping damage combos. We still lose to everything that, you know stops that like if they're playing minwu we're pretty screwed uh because we're not playing yotsuyu we don't that's we don't have a backup plan right like if our damage doesn't work uh mm -hmm. we hope that our, we're at five damage and lice makes our guys giant like that's <laughs> that's about where we're at at that point um or that we're doing things with yuri yeah it's kind of tough whenever you put wind in you automatically think of fina yuri chalinka yustoa and then all the ffcc backups So yeah, that, that is Fire Wind. <laughs> have you ever actually played Fire Wind, Zach? Oh yes, yes I have. Okay. I, I haven't played <clears> it since <throat> Opus One, maybe Opus Two, and it was like the Lon and Zidane Legend deck. Right here, I'll show you the. Uh, oh, that's from our Choker Brews episode that never actually released. Here, I'll show you this real quick. Ooh. How's that for a deck? Oh god! All right. <laughs> <you> go, <laughs> this deck was sick. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> this is what would happen if it was you and Sam building a deck. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was that was a deck I was playing for a while. Uh, no, so the fire I, uh, fire wind deck just for oops, that's not where we typed that. Um, that I played, I think this was back in Opus Four. That you could definitely improve for now. Uh, was actually I think it's card name. So it's a very heavily chocobo deck. Yeah, chocobos might have to be our next like our next choco brew. God, that sounded weird to say. <laughs> <laughs> choco brew. Um, just because I'm not seeing it, at least at my locals, I haven't seen anybody play chocobos. Uh, for the most part, in the past, I've been the only one that played chocobos at locals. Uh, so, so it ended up it was a uh, Final Fantasy VII style deck. Because uh, you, because if you remember the. Haste Chocobo is a Final Fantasy VII card. Mm -hmm. So it ends up making your Aerith cost less. So you go, like, an early Izana um, to, like, find your Fat Chocobo or whatever else. You hopefully have a 2CP uh, backup to play on turn one as well. Uh, arc, arc or something like that. Yeah, Arc. So something along... Or not Arc. Um, like a Sage or something. No, I'm just trying to remember what the... Oh, this card was, like part of it too you just can't play this nowadays because valfour is everywhere yeah i say i used to play that i played that card at nationals year one as a one-off yeah, that card is so sick uh tifa what else is in this deck oh right right oh, this is my favorite deck of all time now <laughs> so yeah i played my zach favorite. to go find at the time is it light cloud Yeah, so you would have this light cloud, which again works with your uh, chickpea here. Actually, I probably still play one Yuffie. I say, but now I'd actually probably go with like this Yuffie. And add Godo and. Yes, yeah, so here, here's uh, here's deck number two for the viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Just real quick. This is built a much faster. <laughs> 
Yeah, because I'm not asking you for your opinions. <laughs> so I'm just going for it. That's why it's bad. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I didn't even think about Alexander. That card's pretty good, too. Yeah, I thought about Alexander, but we just didn't have room for it the previous deck. Mm -hmm. uh, where is the other... Are there no fire backups, really, besides... Oh, right. I guess you have Zangan to go find your Tifas. I wouldn't play three of that, though. Yeah, probably not. You only have two targets. You seem to like Zell and Selfie quite a bit. I love <laughs> Zell. And by extension, Selfie. Sometimes I forget my filters are still on. <laughs> 16. What are we at now? Two more cards. The deck back then had less uh, backups. So a Yuffie right now can be a 6 with that. 7, 8. So she ends up being a 2 CP AK with haste. Oftentimes, because you have all the... Uh... Okay, we right. need to reduce these chocobos. That's not the one I wanted. I say that struggle was probably not in anymore. <clears throat> yep, and if you're playing fire cards, you should play three of that card. It was something like this. Um, obviously, this has a couple new cards like Godo and Yuffie. But uh, this is That's another way you can take uh, like a really aggressive version. And like, if you ever let Zack attack, like. <laughs> Zack attack. <laughs> <laughs> if you if your opponent ever lets you attack with Zack, like it actually is pretty brutal. Uh, especially when you have all these guys. Um, I probably actually want one copy of Lice in here, or maybe two copies. Are you even playing Maria in the back row? Wouldn't it be bad. Yeah, Maria, because then your UV is insane. Kind of slower card though. Probably just as like a one, like in case you get it. You can go down to two fat chocolate books. You're searching it off of Izana a lot of the time. Um, probably play one less selfie because you only have two targets. Yep. Something like I'm still one card up. Uh, oh, no. Something like that. There's like another way you could go with it. It's a very aggressive. It's super aggressive. It's really fun. But yeah, this is what I've played before. Something very similar to this. It's interesting. A lot of different ways to build Firewind. Um, yeah, uh, you can also. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, not, not a lot of success to show for it. Um, <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, so if you refresh this. Yeah, and like, if you ever want to like brew a deck, like something I do sometimes too is I'll go through and I'll look for like a card that I want to build with. Like, say I want to do. Um, like, I really like Edge, right? I was saying for, like, the Archfiends. Uh, you could do, like, filter by Category 4 and just see if it's even possible with this element combination. And you start to see kind of, like, Palum, kind of nonsense, Tella. So there's, there's like, a lot of cool fire and wind cards in here. There's ninjas. What's that? Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Gecko <laughs> and Edge. Most, most requested uh, video. Oh, jeez, yeah. Yeah, people gave us very tame. The only, like, weird trolley answer was, like, Light Dark. All the rest of them are like, oh, no, I really want to see this deck made or whatever. It's like, this is a thing right here. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can go with, like, Barbaricia. And I have some good wind cards. Now go finish building your mono wind deck, and here you go. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, so, yeah, uh, let's load up the deck we actually built again for one last little screenshot here. Yeah, we'll probably try and do this maybe, I say at best, once a week. Um, probably... If, if yeah, the schedule depends. work out, obviously. Um, but we'll make another post um, just asking for more elements. Um, so if you guys think of anything weird, make it extra weird. Um, yeah, right. Like, give us, like, a, yeah, like, ninjas or something ninja really ninjas. out there that... <laughs> see, put, see, here's the problem, right? They gave us element combinations, so we, we put, like, good cards in here. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, like, it's, it's if someone says, hey, let's put in, or let's make a ninja tribal deck, to me that means at least, like, say, 16 job ninjas. That really neuters, like, our options. <laughs> so yeah, we're I forced think... to put in cards that aren't, like, 
we try to put the best of fire and wind into this deck, right? Like make it actually good for the meta. Whereas other options could be like, uh, oh, one I forgot that I probably should have said was dragoons. Uh, I think it was water lightning dragoons. Um, so that's actually that's another option that I actually forgot to write that one down. I'm sorry, but uh, like that's another yeah, cool think, one you could do. I think the next time we'll make a post, we'll each choose like have me, you, and Sam each choose one. Yeah, something like have that. Po po post a poll and see what gets voted for the most, and then build with that. Yeah, I could definitely do that. Uh, anything to get like, more people involved for sure. Yeah, and I think that would work better. Uh, maybe do it like once every two or three weeks. Uh, yeah, guys, so look forward to, to the to that. And uh, yeah, we've been the Choker Bros. I'm Cody Snodgrass. Yeah, and I've been Zach Burrell. And we'll see you next time. Hey, everybody. Thanks for taking the time to listen to the Choker Bros podcast. Be sure to drop us a like and comment on our Facebook page or subscribe and comment on the YouTube page. If you have any comments and suggestions, especially about Cody's awesome hair, feel free to drop us a DM. And of course, don't forget to check out CosmoVillies.com and use promo code CHOKABROS to get 10% off your next order.